My name is Sinodil, and this is the story of how I died. Having solved the mystery of Sylvanar's death, I went to Katsai Ki to deal with Malma invasion. Ma'am? You there! The Malma attacked Katsai Ki with their Sea Viper forces. We need every able body for the rescue effort. Zeus said we're preparing a counterattack, ma'am. Huh! A counterattack? I'd settle for an organized defense. Our forces are scattered too thin. If we can't hold the gates, Mistral will fall to the Marma. What are the orders, ma'am? I'll coordinate Dominion forces from here, but I can't lock down this gate until the survivors clear out of the market. Send them my way. We need everyone able to defend Mistral on this side of the wall. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. All right, let's get them out of here. Snakes! Giant snakes coming from the sea! Those Malma pirates came from the water. They're all over Cat's Eye Key. What happened here? Sea vipers happened. One must have struck me on the head. When I woke, a sea viper was carving strange runes on my bodyguard's skin. I hit that awful pirate with a broken spar and we ran. Were you wounded? No, we can still move. We'll head to Mistral if it's safe there. By the eight, it's inspiring to see Dominion soldiers. Maybe Sergeant Firion can pull off our counter-attack. What counter-attack? The Marine by the gate to Cat's Eye Key plans to strike back at the Sea Vipers. I'm sure she can tell you the details. We'll get moving. Gods grant you strength. We can't let those Marama pirates reach Misral. They'll butcher our families. What happened here? I saw great serpents emerge from the waters. Those sea viper cowards made them snap at everyone in striking distance. Were you wounded? No. When I saw my neighbors fall, I ran. What kind of Kashit am I? You were with Dominion, yes? Your Sergeant Firian plans to strike back. Give those pirate cowards a taunting. You need to get to safety. I'll do no such thing. If any of those sea vipers shows a face on this side of the gate, I'll throw it off myself. Sergeant? What are you doing here? I'm helping. That doesn't matter. If you're in the mood to cave in some sea viper skulls, I don't really care. What's the deal with the counterattack I heard about? You feel that cold air rushing off the sea? Just like it was before the hurricane. We can't wait to cut off the snake's head. We are the Dominion counterattack. So what's the plan? I sent my squad to scout Cat's Eye Key. If they haven't learned with the Sea Viper's plan, we can poke around until we figure out what needs chopping. Don't worry, your wizard friend can seal the gate behind us. Shouldn't you stay here as an officer? I'll hold the gate if you think you'll have need for a wizard. Or you could bring a Dominion Marine. Up to you. You know, I'm something of a wizard myself. And I haven't seen you in a fight yet. Let's go. Then let's fillet these fish elf bastards. Ha! Good one. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Work, you oversized toothpick! Hey, squad got separated. Nistel and I found Onglorn. They hurt him bad. What did they do to him? Sea vipers carved runes in his chest. I grabbed him. Nistel held them off. Where is she? Hunting sea vipers. If you see her, tell her Onglorn will be all right. Do you know what they are planning? Saw a lot of them near the docks. Try there. You've done your part. Get back to Mistral when you can.
Damn it. Surprise, motherfucker. This note. the way from this battlefield. Shit, she's dead. Oh, Miss Del. Die, you bastard! Are you alright? A ringing head is bad. But when it remains somewhat head-shaped, <laughs> that is good, yes? What happened here? I was in the caves, working, when I heard a strange howling. Then warriors came out of nowhere and struck without mercy. What warriors? Sea vipers, Maorama pirates. We paid protection through the month and let them put those strange totems in our cave. They've never been in the skooma trade. Uh, I, I meant moon sugar. It hit my head, you see. Then what do they want? Our deaths, I suppose? After they killed enough of us, they left the rest of us alone. They knew we wouldn't fight back. They only paid attention to those totems. Well, until they collapsed the cave entrance. Why would they do that? Some high elf wizard tried to get in, so they collapsed it. I dove outside. Lucky me. The wizard tried to tell me something, but I couldn't hear him at all. He stuffed this paper in my hands and walked off. Here. Maybe you can make sense of it. You need to get to safety. Uh, what's that? My ears were ringing. Would you mind repeating the obvious? Wait, wait, don't think me ungrateful. The wizard was looking for another way into the caves. I heard rumors of a secret door by the cliffs, but I never saw it myself. Let's see. Something's building. Oh, they were at the Temple of the Morning Springs. Ritual magic. Off fucking course. Of course they were not going to tell you about their plans, really stupid or what? Yep, they are stupid. Exhilarating. Oh come on, are you praising them now? Ill seal. Well, Gavin was right about him. I think I saw a hatch in here. And I was right. Ill seal. These totems seem to harness a combination of wind and spirit. I wonder if I can... Excuse me, do you mind? Excuse you. We want to stop the sea vipers from conquering the city, you know. Indeed. I suppose that's optimal. These sea viper rituals are barbaric, but quite effective. The hurricane they summoned to dash our fleet against Kanapi's roost? That's nothing compared to their current efforts. What do you mean by that? You clearly haven't studied the fundamentals of blood sacrifice. I have. I mean, uh, what now? You see, these serpent-shaped statues, they're storm totems. They collect spirit energies from rune-marked subjects and channel it, like water through a funnel. How can we stop them? Exactly the right question. It seems the sea vipers use a specialized lodestone to block the channel. Approach an active storm totem, hold forth the lodestone, and harmlessly siphon the energy away. You should see for yourself. It is safe, right? Completely. Go ahead, don't be shy. Uh, it's not as though the Storm Totem's energies will cascade throughout your body until you're nothing but a lifeless smoking husk. <laughs> but do avoid standing in the puddles, would you? If I die again, I'll haunt... Oh, right, I don't have a soul anymore. 
you win this time. Huh, it worked. Phenomenal. I knew proximity was the key. And look at you, not even a hint of electrocution. You have the principle. Now to apply it to the other storm totems before... Well, best not to worry about that. Worry about what? Uh, no, I really shouldn't worry you. I'm already worried, so spit it out. I can't say for certain. It's one of two things, neither of which is good for anyone on this island. You don't stoop to blood sacrifice unless you need a lot of energy very quickly. And, well, to release it just as quickly. What are they planning? Listen, you handle the storm totems. I'll determine how to best counteract the Sea Viper blood ritual without destroying Mistral. Does that seem equitable? The only certainty is the lack of time. You should hurry. You mother... Never mind. I have a city to save. There is a totem. Mix too. Shit, they saw us. Stand in the battle. You play with lightning, you get struck. This is Eelsu, speaking directly to your mind. Find my psijic projection near the tunnel exit. I know how to stop the Marma. Why can't they leave my mind alone? I know what they're planning. Through my psijic projection, I observed an old ritual site north of Mistral. The Sea Vipers summoned a powerful creature known as a Storm Atronach. They're funneling all that energy into their bound Storm Slave. Why? The creature can only hold so much energy before it discorporates. All the energy will wash over Kanafi's roost, killing anything it touches. Except for the Thunderbugs, of course. Oh, and the mountain north of Mistral will shatter, leaving no trace of the town. <laughs> How can we stop that? Ah, there's the genius of their plan. How do you bind a creature made of storm energies? With the wind itself! Three ritual horns trap storm slave, but the lodestone now has enough storm energy to counteract the false winds! Elegant, yes? What happens when I release the Atronach? It will shed its corporeal form and safely release its stored energy! Uh, by safely, I mean in relation to Kanathi's roost. 
I recommend moving a fair distance away from Storm Slave when this happens. Perhaps keeping solid rock between it and yourself? Of course. All right, let's do this. You'll have no trouble. But in the event you do, I've opened a portal at a distance of one league from Kanathi's Roost. There I'll tread water in the open sea until I've observed your success. Merely a precaution. I have every confidence. Go to Oblivion. He's not worth it, Sinodil. He's not worth it. Alright, let's save the island. Whoa. I wish Nostel could have seen that thing. Fucking... to go. One is remains or another nurse armor. Put a bunker with another bunker. And of course it's right. Children of the sea, your bonds cannot hold the tempest. My friend, you've done it. Quickly now, you must run. I think so too. Come, you must leave this place. Follow me. How does it make it look so easy? My friend, to escape death so triumphantly is constant thrill, yes? Not so thrilling for the Maumar, of course. How did you find me? The Maumar are fled or dead thanks to your efforts. Canarthi's roost is safe and voluntarily a part of the Old Mary Dominion. So if you must know, Razumdar keeps an eye on promising people. If Raz had known you would do so well, he would have scrounged you a nicer reward. Apologies. The Mistral Armory is not what it once was. What happens now? The Maumur are like drunken uncle. Chase them off, and they always come back. Next time, Kenarthi will be waiting for them. Problem is, there are places that will not be so prepared. What places? If the Vipers are here in numbers strong enough to assault Kenarthi, all of the southern seas are in danger. The Queen is in Oridon right now, beginning a royal visit. Raz would ask you to head to Volkelgard and report to watch Captain Astania. Volkelgard? Are you serious? I live there! Of course I'll go! Astania can pass word to Her Majesty. Perhaps you can catch a ride on the Prowler. Raz her Jimila plans to set sail. He suspects she may owe you a favor. 
Before I go, I have some questions. Of course. After all you have done for us here, it would be rude of Raz to say no. Who is this Astania? Astania is the lovely watch captain of the Vulcal Guard Watch. Raz has shared more than one drink with the captain, and more than one fight. She's getting a bit grouchy now that she's tied to one port, but she should set you a rights. I know I won't get an answer from you, but I'll try again. Who in oblivion are you? This one is a simple Khajiit, like he said when we first met. He resolves issues as they come up. He acts in the best interest of the Dominion and the Queen. You know I hate that in you. Will we meet again? Oh. Raz would not be surprised. You have already proven yourself a competent sword. Simple Khajiit like this one have a tendency to need competent people like you. Captain? The Prowler is headed to Oridon, and we're happy to ferry you there. When you're ready, hop in the launch. We'll set you up with your own bunk. Why Oridon of all places? Chests full of gold. Owning a sound ship after a hurricane can be quite lucrative, even when the only cargo is Dominion luminaries seeking passage. Don't worry, I won't charge you. Without your help, the Prowler would be a mass of broken timber. So you're ready to go? Aye, the Prowler is fully restored and ready for heavy seas. Quartermaster Oblan even managed a few improvements using some Maormer donations. Have no fear, she'll get you safely to Oridon. I couldn't believe it. I was finally going home.